What's the deal? It's the Liddy Show. Y'all know what time it is. And I'm back. I know y'all missed me, like, so much. If you miss me, go ahead and drop them bottles for me. If you miss me, drop those bottles. Drop them, baby. Drop them. Because, you know, the Liddy Show is, like, my therapy, you guys. Like... I really sit here and just enjoy you guys. Like, you know, like this little talk show thingy, big talk show, it's really my thing. Like, you know, like it's really my thing. Like, it really is. Do y'all agree? Like, do y'all agree that the Liddy Show is my lane? Like, yeah, I agree with you guys. I definitely agree. I agree. I agree with me. I agree with me. So, as you guys know, I've been gone. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys why I've been gone. Some of you guys already know, some of you guys don't, so I'm gonna let you know. So, one, I had to do Greek life, okay? Greek life, I made a post about it. Um, it was dope, you know? It was dope, it was fun, it was funny, it was interesting, it was, you know, it was a zoo. It was a jail. It was all of that in one. But one thing I can say for me being on other shows, I actually did like, like honestly have fun because yes, it's Big Lady South Central Baddies. That is, you know, where you guys first seen me at. But I have fun on Greek Life. Like, you know, like we actually were able to go outside the house. Like, you know, I know you guys seen us in the blogs at the club and stuff like that. Like. We actually got to, you know, have fun. So I appreciate that. And then also, too, like, I had to challenge myself to be more mature than others. Um, I had to protect myself. Um, what else I had to do? And I had to check a bitch. Like, you know, I had to check a bitch. Um, but other than that, it was nice. It was very nice. Um, also, also, and I'm going to get back to Greek life in a minute because I do have some things to say about certain things that I've seen in the blog. So I'm going to get back to that in a minute. But back to why I ain't been on this couch. Um, also, y'all, I've been performing Big Lady. Like, been performing it like been performing it, like enjoying myself, having fun, like getting booked and busy. So first I went to South Bend, Indiana. I have some people out there, I have some family out there and they wanted to book me to come and perform for my niece's birthday party. Boom, turned up. And this wasn't no kid party. This was very much a grown up party. Like they was in there turned up. South Bend don't owe me nothing. And shout out to them little niggas who was playing security too. Like. I fucks with y'all. Um, also, I went to New Haven, Connecticut. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something about New Haven, Connecticut. New Haven was dope. When I was in New Haven, I had did a, um, a meet and greet first. And when I did the meet and greet, oh, my gosh, the supporters, they were so nice. They were so nice. Also, there was um, a blogger on my mama. On my mama had came. And I'm going to say this. Oh, my mama, in person, she's very sweet. Like, she, she's very sweet. She has a nice energy. But I was mad at her one time because um, she had made a post like, oh, Liddy only cares about her supporters that pay for her YouTube show. First off, it's free to click this link. Second of all, if you do have a membership, y'all, a lot of y'all Liddy babies, I be making little comments in the community section telling y'all to drop y'all email address so I can send y'all merch, and y'all don't even respond. So for me to say that I only love the supporters that buy memberships for my um, YouTube channel, I was kind of offended by that. And I commented on her YouTube and on her TikTok and told her how I felt. And told her, like, it's not like that. Like, you know, like, it's not like that. So... She apologized or whatever, but was posted, was posted. So when she seen me and Rari at the meet and greet, she's like, oh, can I get a drop? Can you say, oh, my mama? Absolutely not. No, 
I can't. And it's not because I have a problem or anything like that, but it's just like, I don't know, like with bloggers and stuff like that, like if y'all not cool or y'all not on that level like me, my guard is just up. But I will say, like I said, oh, my mama, you sweet in person. I fuck with your vibe, your energy, you feel me? And I also told her like, you don't gotta kiss my ass. Like if you wanna say something about me, bitch, say it. Like, you feel me, bitch, say it. You know, like, say it, don't be, don't be biased. Say that shit, I don't care if you talk shit, but just know when you see me, I'ma say something about it. I'm not gonna try to fight, but I am gonna voice how I feel because at the end of the day, I'm a real person too, you know? Like, I got feelings and emotions and all that. I'm an emotional gangster, you know? So, yeah, shout out to Oh My Mama. Y'all check her out on TikTok and check her out on YouTube. But back to New Haven. So the meet and greet was dope. Um, after the meet and greet, we went to this club where me and Rory perform at. It was called um, Terminal 110. And Terminal 110 was like dope as fuck. Like when I mean dope, 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 dope. Terminal 110, we was turned up. We enjoyed ourselves. We actually sold the place out. So that was bomb as fuck. Like I was happy to be able to do that. Um, it was supporters coming up to me with their phones, showing me their kids. I'm talking to their kids from the stage. Like, but the most interesting part about New Haven is that nobody in New Haven know the dance. Like, y'all don't know the dance. Like, and it was so cute because all they wanted to do was come shake ass. So the bitches that came on the stage the first time to shake some butt, they did their shit. But then my manager was like, hey, Liddy, these girls, they say that they could do it better than the last girl. You need better girls. I'm like, what? Bring them up. So the DJ ran that big Liddy back twice. And then they got loose. Like, when I mean they got loose, they got loose. They did their thing. So shout out to New Haven. Shout out to New Haven. Y'all turned me up. No shade. Like, I was not disappointed. Y'all asses was soft. I, I enjoyed myself, like, I enjoyed myself. And they also liked my, my other music, cause I didn't just perform Big Liddy. I performed a song I got called Hustling, and they was fucking with it, my Bidi Bidi Bomb Bomb. They was fucking with that. So I fuck with y'all for that. Shout out to New Haven, happy birthday Red Dev, and happy birthday to my niece London, I love y'all. So, back into it, back into it. Let me see what y'all talking about. <laughs> Hey, lady, you look good. Thank you, bitch. Thank you. Um, stand up. Y'all just want to see my booty. Don't be telling me to stand up. Yes, I'm so mad. I couldn't get a babysitter. Oh, you couldn't get a babysitter? Oh, that's fucked up. You look the fuck good. Thank you. Yes, BD BD bomb bomb. Wait, how big? <laughs> oh my God. I ain't reading that. Y'all messy. Okay, let me get into this real quick. Uh oh, almost had a nip slip. Let me get into this real quick. Let me get into Greek life because y'all asking so many questions about Greek life. Okay, I know y'all see all of this stuff on the blogs like Queen D and Naj, you know, they talking about the fight and then, um, you know, you see a little stuff from like, um, who, else was, who else was talking? It was a bunch of people talking. You know, you got Joyce talking. You got everybody talking. There is a reason why we just, you know, wasn't supposed to be talking. Like, they really put the, they really put their foot down. They really put their foot down on us when it comes to us talking about the show. Like, they really put their foot down. So there was like this contract. You know what? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Look. The contract, the new contract that Now That's TV gave us for Greek Life was about this fucking thick. It was about this thick. This is how thick the contract was, okay? This is, we usually get like four sheets of paper, but this is how thick that contract was. 
It was this fucking thick, okay? I'm scared of shit that's this thick. Like, something this thick? No, like, no. That means somebody's getting sued, okay? Somebody's getting sued. So, I'm gonna show y'all this clip, and when I show y'all this clip, I'm gonna explain why I said what I said. Can we run the clip, please? It's a short little clip, y'all. Carlin, y'all are getting fined $3 million. <laughs> I'm back. Three million dollars, okay? So now that TV put in our contracts that if we talk about the show, we're going to have to pay them three million dollars. So how I look at that, I look at it like this. If I continue or I tell the T about the show, right? Three million dollars. First of all, Bitches is not even getting 20 racks for a show. So let's just start there. $3 million, it's like basically you will be a prostitute for now that's TV if they decide to really like stick to that. And I see a lot of hoes. I see a lot of hoes on GG page just telling the show, just telling the show. And I really hope now that TV stand on that. Like I want, especially the bitches that I'm not fine with that's telling the show like, I want y'all to like be like in big ass debt when now that's TV. Because motherfuckers be feeling like they could just do that shit. But when a motherfucker who ain't been on a lot of shows, they get to telling contracts, they'll say, oh, well, you told the show, so we not gonna do this. Or you exposed this show, so we're mad at you for this. But no, like you hoes that's telling the show, Y'all need to pay that $3 million. Y'all need to become now that's TV prostitutes because $3 million, like they're finding a $3 million. Like you bitches are unprofessional and y'all don't take shit serious. Like $3 million. Like I'm not saying shit. I'm not telling y'all who I fought. I'm not telling you when I fought. I'm not telling y'all shit. Don't ask me no questions about Greek life. I'm not telling y'all nothing. Now, I might shoot a subliminal here and there, you know, like, you know, like I'll troll a little bit. But as far as giving y'all actual facts and details on the show, I'm not doing that. Because I will be the sacrificial lamb. I will turn around and be the sacrificial lamb. It will be me. I'll be the one where they be like, oh, Liddy, you told the show. Now we own your song. We own your name. We own everything. No. No, you got to really think about that. If these people, if Tilo really decide to be like, hey, you're going to owe this money. We want to use your face and put you on all of these shows. But when you owe us that because you signed this contract again, y'all, I read the shit. It was bitches in the room with me and I was telling them, you signed a contract that's this fucking thick. Why would you be on social media telling this man show? Y'all think fat meat ain't greasy. Y'all better shut the fuck up. Seriously, y'all better shut up. Like, y'all better shut up. Like, bitch, you ain't too cute to get sued, bitch. You is not too cute to be sued. And I'm surprised Najee ass is telling the show. Like, she really don't give a fuck. Especially all that now that CB done for her. She an ungrateful little witch. Because how you telling these people show? And you supposed to be Mrs. Neil and then see me. Like, how is you telling these people show? Why aren't you shutting up? Like, $3 million. Did y'all read the contract? Did y'all read the contract? Because I don't think y'all did. So again, don't ask me no questions about Greek life. I don't know who black pressures I. I don't know who did it. I don't know who won between Queen D and Naj. I don't even know if they fought. 
I don't know who fought Billy. I don't know shit. I don't know nothing. But when this shit air, baby, I'm going to be trolling. I'm definitely going to be trolling. Yes, I'll be back on my bullshit. But until then, y'all, y'all know I'm a grown-ass woman. I'm not going to violate them people's contract. So can y'all stop asking me? Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. I really fucking do. I really appreciate y'all. Now, I'm going to open up the call line really quick. But before I open up the call line, I want to, um, I want, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to invite Brian on. I forgot. I was high, my bad. So, you guys, <laughs> I'm going to open up the call line tonight. Um, y'all know my call line, it be fucking up sometime. So, I'm going to drop the number for y'all. And what I want y'all to do is, I want y'all to call. The first five callers, I'm calling you back, okay? The first five callers. Let me get this number, because y'all know I don't know the number by heart. So y'all ready for the call-in number? The call-in number is 213-536-1152. That's 213-536-1152. Go ahead and start calling, and I'm going to call y'all back. Can I go to break real quick? Okay. Yeah, I'll be right back after these messages.
What's up, y'all? I'm back. And we're back on the Liddy Show. And I got White Chocolate with me, a.k.a. Scar Cheeks. You feel me? Y'all know who he is. So. I miss Liddy, y'all. Um, I did not like her being gone, but she was doing her big one, so. You know. But I'm not going to lie. Uh, Gigi, we got beef, girl, because you could have been posting a little bit more tea on Greek Life. I'm just saying. She couldn't. Wasn't nobody telling we owe three million dollars. Like <laughs> well, Gigi didn't have that's no how motherfucking thick the tea. Is. God damn. Then nobody had no motherfucking tea. They wasn't getting no tea. <laughs> Not for me. I was refreshing Gigi like oh so much. Such a, after like two or three days of you being there, I was like, come on, they have to have something. Something. Most definitely. And shout out to Rez girl, R E Z girl, girl. I see you. Thank you for tipping the real bitch. I appreciate <laughs> you. Oh my soul. Thank you so much, girl. Cause. I did the Liddy show in so long. I needed that. Like, we're struggling. Um, okay, so let me get to this call line real quick for y'all. Oh, y'all still calling? Okay, let me see if it'll work when I do it this way. They always do that. So I got to copy the number. Oh, you got candy now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we, we snacked up. Okay. We I snacked up. The Liddy. The Liddy. This tray. All right, y'all. I'm calling y'all back right now. I got my five numbers. I'm calling. Well, I don't got all of them. I got this one, though. But I'm going to be calling five numbers, okay? So I'm calling you back first. Y'all, I am calling back from a black number because I don't trust y'all like that. Y'all is not about to be blowing me the fuck up. I know how y'all get down. Hey, lady. What's the deal? It's the motherfucking lady show. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Turn your TV down. Good. Okay, so I have a, I have a, I have a question. Okay. Okay. So. What do you think of when fat bitches try to say shit to other fat bitches? Did you say fat bitches? Yeah. Like oh. they, and then when it comes to fat bitches saying shit to them, they get all, like, all insulted and shit. Okay, so you asking me how do I feel about fat bitches saying stuff to other fat bitches, like a fat bitch calling another fat bitch fat? Yes. <laughs> Um, I don't feel no type of way. Like, I feel like, you know, y'all just some BBWs clowning each other. Like, you know, mm -hmm. no shade. Like, okay. that's like me. That's like me. I'm black. Like, yeah. that's like me telling another black bitch, like, bitch, you're black as fuck. Like, bitch, I'm yeah. black as fuck. Like, we both black okay. as fuck. They big as fuck. One last question. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of Barbie throwing the drink to a big foot? I loved it. I loved it. Right? I loved it. Iconic. It was it was the fact that the water splashed and then the bob went woof. <laughs> like that, Barbie really the... got that bitch. <laughs> you know, yeah, I was like, damn. Barbie ate. <laughs> Barbie ate. She took her through Soak City. Ate and left no crumbles. But she had to do that because pressure snuck her before. So mm -hmm. she had to be yeah. on her team. No, she ate. Ate. Period. Eight bad, bad. Shout out to SoCal Barbie. Love you, if you're watching this, y'all go tell Barbie I'm talking about her on the Liddy show <laughs> and that we love her. Okay? Love you, Barbie. Love you. Okay. Shout out to Oregon. Period. Big Oregon in the motherfucking building. And what's your name? Uh, Rigo. Rigo. Okay, Rigo. Thank you for calling into the Liddy show. Yeah. I love you. Bye, Liddy. Bye. He kind of threw me off with the fat bitch question, <laughs> but <laughs> I understand, like, because it's like. You know, like, how are you talking about somebody in your big, too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. let me go to the beginning. I'm about to go to the beginning of some of these calls that first started calling in. Let's see. I'm going to try to find the first caller that called in. Boom. First caller. Let's see. I'm about to call you back. This was the first caller of the day. I scrolled all the way down to get their number.
Okay. Hello? This is the Liddy Show. It's Liddy. What's the deal? Hey, Liddy. What's the deal? This is my Manx. You know, we from Twitter, of course. Oh, period. That's crazy. You were the first caller. What's the tea, baby? Yes, of course. I got some questions I want to ask you and stuff. Okay, what's up? Okay, so I know you was talking about Barbie and you shining around and all this good stuff and all that, but why was she saying that you was hiding with Bigfoot on Sound Central uh, Season 4? She said that you was hiding in the room with her. Barbie said that? Yes, she did. Barbie wasn't even there. Barbie was listening to other bitches. I didn't hide from shit. It's it's just, it just comes off a little bit crazy because, like, why would she be saying that in the first place? But that, that, that's just what I had to say. I was just wondering because why would she say that in the first place? But it, it is what it is. I'm about to call that bitch. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm calling her on three-way. Hold on. Yes. I promise you she was on the stage and she told Bigfoot that's why you was in that room with Liddy. And I was like, why would she say that? Let me call her. Hold on. I'm going to call her on three-way. Hold on. Because I didn't see that part. Hello, Hello Barbie. I'm merging you. It's a supporter on the other line because they called into the leading show, and they had a question for you. Okay. Okay, hold on. Max. Okay, so Barbie on the phone. Tell her what, what you said. Oh, uh, Barbie, how are you? Hey. No, hey. no shade, no, no tea, no, 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 no disrespectful. But, you know, I was just wondering because when I seen the Mean Girls reunion, um, I just seen that you were saying that Bigfoot and Liddy were hiding in the room. So that just came off a little bit, a little bit crazy to me because, I like, I didn't say Liddy. If you really, if you really like who cool and Liddy, like, you would have been like, okay. I didn't you say, I didn't say Liddy. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't, baby. I said Bigfoot. You was hiding in the room. You were trying to hide. Your, I, you, said you and Bigfoot was trying to hide Liddy in the room. I didn't say. Thank oh, you said she was you. She was trying to hide me in the room, like she was trying to make me hide in the room. No, yes, she was scared. She was trying to hide them out. She said. You and Liddy was hiding but in I that room. But I did make posted about she hiding, hiding you in the room. Okay. She's trying to turn but you down. But that's what she said on, 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 the, on the reunion. I got to watch that part because I didn't see it. But I know Barbie don't yeah, mean no harm towards me. I know Barbie don't mean no harm towards me, but we have to clock it, Barbie. Yeah, you know how it is on the Liddy show. You ask when I see you, bitch. <laughs> you going to drag me? No, I'm talking about him. <laughs> 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 I can't uh, Hey, no, but I do have another question, though. For Barbie, I don't know you want to ask her? No, for, for, for you. Okay, Barbie, thank you, but thank you for answering the call on the Lady Show, Barbie. I love you, but Lady Show, you know, I'm you down. I know you love me, that that's why I had to call, because he was speaking on you, and I wouldn't be a real bitch about it and call. Mean girls, don't beat me up. Don't beat me up, Barbie. <laughs> 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 Love you, Barbie. Thank you for watching me. Thank you, though, for for two people yes. watching. <laughs> okay, so I got another question, though. Okay, so what's what up? What do you feel about Cashew? Cashew. Why is she up there saying that Cashew from. Her name is Cashew. You said it right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, yes. I was just double checking. Cashew was there saying that she wanted a fade, or well, basically she said she can square up with you. Like, that's weird to me. Like, why would she bring you up in the first place? The bitch is clearly a fan. Um, I feel like, you know, some of these girls, they, they get on now that's TV and they feel like they gotta fight the people that's, like, cracking, you know? And yeah, no shade. I feel it. I feel it. No shade, like, Motherfucker can say what they yeah, want to say about me, but, like, yeah, but Liddy is a household like, name, so no, she's a no, clout no. monster. Yeah, and now I see where you're coming from, especially when it comes to fan night. These bitches are really fucking fans. They're really fans. I'm sorry for cussing. But they're really fans, like you said. Like, that's weird because the situation with fan night and then all of a sudden this other thing is brought up. Like, you're, you're right. Like, 
they, they're really fans. They are. No shade. All shade. And then one more question. I just have one more question. Okay, what's that? Okay, so I know you had your, sis your situation with Irene, and then you were on Greek Life. Can you maybe be able to say, like, are those different shows or... Yeah, those are different shows. So the show... We're, me and Ivory, okay, that's yeah. a different show. And then Greek that's show is a different show. So I'll be having two okay. shows airing on Now That's yeah, TV this that's year. What I'm for, yes. I'm very, that is, that's what's, that's good because I feel like that situation deserves its own show to make sure everything gets paid on and everybody understands that situation because there was a lot of people not knowing what was going on or like just asking questions. And like I, like I saw it, like it was, to me but like that's a good thing that they put your own show to make everybody understand that whole situation and greek life i know you was up there doing your big one money making it come home and i i feel like you won and i just say you like that don't see you. period thank you baby i just feel like you won i hope i won because i need that money like frankie from I set it off I need this money. <laughs> like, no shame. I need that money, like, and I was gonna do whatever I have to do to do it. Like, oh, no shame. Period. Some of them gonna need that money after that three million contract you was talking about looking like a damn Bible. No, for real. It was really thick as fuck. But thank you for calling in. Let me go ahead and get some other callers on here. Thank you so much, Liddy. Big Liddy. Big Liddy. If you want the spade, spade come, come and, and get, get it, it, bitch. And if you're too big, I'm gonna hit you with something. I'm not, so, I'm not playing that. <laughs> Catching no face, no fair face, no big mm -hmm. hoes. Like, I'm pitting you with something. <laughs> Every time, like, you better hope I don't got nothing. All right, randomly picking a call, randomly picking a call. Dang, it's a lot of calls. All right, boom, I'm calling you. All right, y'all, I know he see he got like three questions, so we gonna limit it to like, you know, limit to like two to three questions, two questions, y'all. Your call has been forwarded to an automated... Hmm. They didn't answer. Your call has been forwarded... Your call has been... All right, it's last time I'm going to try to call back. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three. Oh, it's gonna, I was going to leave him a message, but it was going to say their number, so... All right, let me call the caller. He called this person. <laughs> He's snoring over there. His fat ass. <laughs> y'all know when y'all be hearing my TikToks and it be somebody snoring, that be my dog. Y'all be thinking it be a nigga and it don't be no nigga. It be my dog, like the whole time. Whole time it be my dog. I be reading the comments like they're so dumb. That's a dog, it ain't no man. I can't sleep with no man who snore, y'all. I'll be waking him up because I like to cuddle, so you can't snore in my ear. I ain't playing that. I gotta go to sleep first. Yeah, I can't do snoring either. You, you can't, know, like, uh-uh, mm -hmm. I Because I can't fall asleep to that. Mm -mm. It's like, hey, hold on, shut up. Mm -hmm. That's me, like, shut up. Wait, why that's not calling? All right, y'all, hold on. Y'all calling so fucking fast. And these nails so fucking long. I know, but you look good though. Look at you. Thank you. I gotta send a picture to my nigga. Y'all, I bullied somebody into a relationship. <laughs> I witnessed so I told that she telling the truth. Pick your hand, get your, what did she say? She said, get your ass up and hold my hand. That's what I told him. I'm not playing. As a queen should, though, you know? Get your ass up and hold my hand. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's the Liddy Show. It's Big Liddy, what's up? What's going on with you, Liddy? What's going on? I'm feeling good, what's your name? 
I'm Vaughn, calling from the Bay. Okay, period, calling from the Bay. And what's that? What you want to talk about? You got questions? What's the tea? Uh, you know, I'm, I wouldn't expect you to answer. I really ain't got no questions. Just like, you know, we fuck with you out here. Oh, oh period. Y'all need why y'all ain't booked me yet? Why ain't booked me yet? Why y'all ain't booked me yet? Like you say, from the Bay to LA. Why y'all ain't booked me yet? We got you. I'm gonna hit the promoters and tell them to come fuck with you. Yeah, because I've been waiting. Ain't nobody called me from the Bay for no Well, somebody called me from SAC, but they ain't finalized shit. But yeah, okay. ain't nobody called me from the Bay. I ain't gonna lie. Oakland way litter than SAC. You gotta come to Oakland. We're gonna turn you up for sure. Oh, y'all gonna turn me up. Tell me. We're gonna turn you up. Ain't Keith yeah. the Sneak from Oakland? Yep, that's what keeps us sneaking. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Uh -huh. I don't put that on. That's my word. We got all that. Period. Okay, well, get me booked. I got you. All right, thank you for tapping in. You said follow you on IG? Yeah. Okay, text the hotline your IG. I'm about to do that right now. All right. All right. He sound kind of cute. <laughs> I'm not getting shot. I'm about to compliment on how I think that man sound. I'm saying for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> white God. chocolate is looking, y'all. White chocolate is looking. Ooh, we should do a dating show for Brian. I don't know. I'm too picky though. I feel like I'm just looking. I don't know. Hey, you guys. I'm I'm doing a dating <laughs> show. I'm gonna show y'all one of my contenders. Like I'm gonna post it probably tomorrow on TikTok or Instagram. Y'all gonna crack the fuck up. Like this shit is funny. I'm really like, I'm really funny as fuck. You are. I really am. Like, y'all don't even know the half of it. All right, I'm about to, this is a 323 number. Let's see who this is. They from LA for sure. What's the deal? It's Big Liddy. Big Liddy, Big Liddy. <laughs> if you want this, come and get it. Come and get it, yeah. bitch. <laughs> oh my God, I did not expect you to answer, but y'all need to pop my shit. Big Liddy. Big Liddy. What are you talking about? But, you want to do shit on Greek life? That part. Yeah. On my soul. On my soul. Um, yeah, Big Foot needs to get up on her good foot. Still ain't got a phone in it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm that, um, I'm that big boy that was running on the treadmill, the big lady, big lady. Ah, oh, my nigga, yes, <laughs> yes, I remember you, you was on the treadmill, oh my soul, you was getting it, like, you, you been, you still been working out? What's up, what's the tea? Yeah, um, y'all stay tuned, y'all gonna be doing real tuned. You about to do what? You said what? I can't hear you, say that again. I said... Hopefully, y'all be seeing me real soon, Big Liddy. Yes, you know what? Yes, we will, because you be fucking with me. They're going to be seeing you real soon. I'm going to take yeah, your number down. Everybody that's coming for Liddy, that's a nigga. I got that on my soul. <laughs> <laughs> on my soul. Come get it. <laughs> Come get it if you want it. We got an alley at the Liddy show, too. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to ask. I love you, Liddy. I love you, too. Tell the people where you from, though, baby. I'm from Watts, California. Ooh, period. Watts. Oh, my son. No, East Watts. side, nigga. You That part. Period. I love y'all. I love you. Love you, too. Big lady. Big mm. lady. If you want this fake, come, come and get, get it. it. Get it. <laughs> oh, that's like a... Y'all know who that was? Y'all remember when that bad boy was on the treadmill and he was running? He was big lady, big lady. He was on it. What is this deal? What the fuck you mean? That's him. That shit be crazy when I um, get the people. All right, y'all, one more call. And then I'm going to talk about some shit, and then we up out of here, y'all. All right. I'm going to call this number. And y'all, I've been randomly doing this, going up and down, up and down. I think I'm going to buy a phone, like, like a trap phone, just for the Liddy Show. Like I'm by my own like little 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 supporter phone. It's gonna be a trap phone, but it's gonna be a supporter hotline like for y'all.
Oh wait, I called that nigga back. My bad. I was supposed to be calling this number back. <laughs> Star six seven. There we go. All right. Come and get it, bitch. What's the deal? Where are you calling from? Lily. Where are you calling from? Charlotte, North Carolina. This is my second time talking to you because you that girl. Period. Oh, you got through twice. Ah. Yeah, this is my second time. You know, I'm going to act right because you had to get on me the first time. Okay, what did you do? What did you do? No, I was talking about, I was still talking about the baddest reunion and you was done with it. So we ain't talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the tea, baby? So why this girl I used to work with just got casted for Girls Trip? So my question is, what advice do you have for somebody going on that STV for the first time? Because I'm going to send her this live and be like, this is coming from big motherfucking Liddy, okay? Um, what advice do you have for her? So the advice that I would have for her, I would tell her to keep her eyes open. You feel me? Um, pay attention, like really pay attention. Don't go into it automatically trying to make a friend, you know? Remember, you're doing business, you know? And don't tell nobody your personal business. None of it. None of it. And be careful okay. for bitches who like to hit you for no reason. <laughs> honey, because I've seen that cat she in there with. I'm like, honey, ooh, but she, I think she's... She gonna do her big one. I, I ain't gonna say her name because, you know, I don't wanna, I wanna keep everything fair for her since it's her first time, but she's a very pretty, petite girl. So I know mm -hmm. she's somebody going to step to her, but maybe I've seen her throw the things on her story on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as she's not trying to fight. for a surprise. So I really appreciate that, Lydia. As soon as this goes up, I'm sending it to her. Hopefully, this will make her smile. I'm praying for that girl because you know it goes down. You, it, you it, a it, good, it, you're you know? a good friend. You know, you mm -hmm. a good friend, and I respect you for that. Like, you a good friend oh, for sure. Because for sure, yeah. it's like you know she about to go into a world zone. It look good. It might be good, but you know, like you know, and you looking out. You know, so yeah. But that's really the best advice that I could give her. And also, t tell her don't be no puppet. Move how you want to move. Don't move because they told you to. Because Motherfuckers go viral every day. You ain't got to force it. It's going to come. Correct. And you don't got to force it. Show, you can tell what's real and what's fake. Like, girl, why are you so mad all of a sudden? You just smiling two seconds ago. Like, oh, God, because that's how I was. Because when I called all them bitches out and they wasn't saying nothing, and then like an hour later, I come back, everybody mad. It was like, what? 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 Like, why y'all wasn't been yeah. mad when I was sitting here yelling and beating on my chest like a monkey? <laughs> right. Pretty no shade. You know? But that's another story for another day. But I'll be watching when you tell me, because I'm always tuned in, okay? Period. Thank you. And yeah, good luck to. So, whoever you are that's on Girls Trip, girl, pay attention. Isaiah's messy. But I love him, though. But yeah, you feel me? Like, you know, do your shit, do your big one, and I wish you the most success. And thank you for calling in, baby. Of course, I'm going to finish watching. Love you, Lydia. Okay, thank you. He a real nigga for that. Yeah, that's nice. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Okay, call line over with. I'm gonna do one call before the night is over. I'm gonna do one more call before the night is over. But we're gonna get into this tea real quick. So, Mean Girls Reunion. Mean Girls Reunion. I think that it's funny that, um, like, cause I got to see it from the beginning, like the pressure and like the, the Barbie beef, the Bigfoot versus Barbie, it's cute. And um, when Barbie threw that water on the stage, that was very iconic because Barbie was serious. Barbie was, uh uh, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she took her through Soap City. Right. But no shade, Bigfoot, 
her ass, she she had a few jokes. I ain't gonna lie. She made me laugh with her stupid, ugly, stupid, stupid self. <laughs> you know, she made me laugh. And when I say ugly, I don't mean her face. I mean her spirit. She has an ugly ass soul. But that's a story for another day. But um, yeah, like you know, like it was it was really really funny. Like me and girls was funny. <laughs> then, how did you feel about um, when uh, Nye, her duo? Cause I don't know her name yet. And Dre, like, how did you feel about that when they ran up on the Pretty Johns? On the Pretty Johns? I was like, you know, <clears throat> the Pretty Johns was on point. <laughs> like, they was ready. They was ready. I, g- I gave it to them, like, honestly. Like, they, they, like you were saying, how you were telling her to, you know, you keep your eyes open. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how they were. I just, I mean, maybe it's just because I, you know, I don't care for the kidnapper. But, I mean, you know, the Pretty Johns, I just feel like they did their shit. I like the Pretty Johns. But. Yeah, I like them all. Except a few, but I don't know. I, they they reunion eight. I liked the concept. Mm-hmm. I liked the the, the date situation. Yeah, the dates. I thought that was so cute. Like cheap. I felt oh nipple out. I felt like everything was you know. Mm-hmm. I felt like everything was real cute. Like you know. I like it the was real pretty. Yeah, yeah, like mm-hmm. it was cute. It yeah. was real cute. Like I can't wait for season two. Yeah. I can't wait for season two. It was real cute. It was real cute. I think it was Barbie really needs to be like the host, maybe you know next season. Oh, she will be. I'm pretty sure of it. So there was one scene when um, Pressure had opened her legs. Did you see that? I'm gonna post the screenshot. Can we get the screenshot? A uh, Pressure, air her legs open. <laughs> Do I want to see this? <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Y'all remember when uh, Mima came on my show and her titty kept popping out? I'm having a Mima right now. I'll try to watch for you, girl. I'll yeah. try to watch. I'm having a Mima right now. <laughs> oh, God. Looking pretty, though. Mima a bad bitch, so. She is. I love me some Mima. Shout out to Mima. So, Pressure was sitting there rocking with her cock out. <laughs> and she had told a joke, like, something, something. Um, you're a Tucker. You're a Chris Tucker. I did hear that. <laughs> I wanted to slap the bitch to the screen like, bitch, it was funny. But I wanted to slap her for Barbie. <laughs> I wanted to slap the shit out that bitch. Like, you, you bitch, why you say that, bitch? You punk ass bitch. Like, I wanted to slap the fuck out of her. I thought that shit was hilarious. But Barbie, I swear to God, Barbie really ate throwing that motherfucking. Barbie and Pressure, like, they took over the whole shit. It was like oh, the yeah. host. The host took over the cast reunion because their little beef was so iconic. Like, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> that shit was so funny. And then um, Playboy's reunion. I mean, not Playboy's reunion. Playboy's trailer. The trailer for Playboy's, oh, my gosh. That was fire. I'm not going to lie. It ate. They had Big tired. Frida in that bitch. Yeah. They motherfucking, like, you know. They were helping was, out at the homeless. Uh, yes. You know, they the were doing all of the shit. Now... I seen on the on the on one of the blogs on now that's TV exclusive. I seen where um, Landon and Zabo was like arguing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Was it Zabo or was it Q? I don't know. It was one of them. Q or Zabo. Sometimes I get them mixed up. Cause they both talk a lot. Well, not even <laughs> because they both talk a lot, but just because I be seeing them both together, so, like yeah. on social media. So that's where I be seeing. But like. I looked at the clip. I looked at it in slow. I didn't understand what the other boy was talking about because he missed the punch. Mm -hmm. Like, I was confused. So I can't wait to see that whole fight air because he making it seem like he whooped Landon. But that clip didn't show that. I feel like I've seen that before, too, where people are being like, oh, I I whooped in the air. (laughs) But you ain't not one hit. That's why I don't say shit. Like, Mm -hmm. if I do say something, it's really my real opinion. Like... Well, yeah. and you'll be honest, too. Like, even if you get into it with someone, you'll be like, okay, I, I, I lost first round, but I, I won the second You're round. You're like, bitch, I got you back. Yeah, I got you back. No shade, I got you back. And that's what I love about you. You're so real. I'm going to get my lip back. You go get that. Every time I'm going to get space? my lip back. Me? No, don't come and get it. Like, no. all the time. Just leave me the fuck alone. Especially not tonight. Like, no, especially not, period. Like, I'm tired <laughs> of fighting, y'all. I'm over it, no shade. But if you want this fade, come and get it. But just know it comes with some other shit sometimes. Like, y'all, I'm picking up shit, hitting big bitches with it these days. (laughs) I don't give a fuck. Like, no. 
No. Well, when they built like a brick house, you kind of got to. I don't give a fuck. If I feel like, if I feel like you can beat me up, I'm hitting you with something. I don't give a fuck. I'm over it. I'm over it. These bitches is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like now that's TV, like, if they feel like you want too many fights, they bringing in the, like, bigger hoes. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like now that's TV is turning into Mortal Kombat and everybody got signature moves. You got them, <laughs> you got them. Oh, shit. <laughs> that you was got, one like, of the moves. No, seriously, no. <laughs> but, like, for real, for real, like, you got, now I feel like now that's TV, and like all like some of the girls on that TV, they got signature moves. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me? Yours like is that headline. Cat. Like hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell it. Sorry, go ahead. So Cash is the Mac, 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 Mac. Okay. Pressures is the the lean back <laughs> and swing. And you feel me? The open slap, hand. Open, open hand, hand. slap. Yeah. And then fucking um Ivory is the it's the step back and then the punch. Like, cause she do that step back. Mm -hmm. She got that lean with it, rock with mm -hmm. it. Then, <laughs> of course, Lady Glitter Sparkles, her shit is. I have the glitter. <sighs> you feel me? She's trying to blind hoes. That's, that's, that I think is taking it too far because like uh, glitter is glass. That shit either, was like little pieces of glass. It don't even matter. I'll we done talked about it so many motherfucking times. Yeah. They're never gonna take the glitter. It doesn't matter. Like, it just don't. They're, they're not unsaid shit. Start, they don't give a fuck about that glitter. But <laughs> then... They probably give it to her ass, actually. Then, um, what else? <sighs> fuck, who else? Nina is the, the, the pull your hair with the one hand and then hit you. That's the Nina. Then, um, who else? Legacy. Legacy, that bitch, like... She got the, the you, cause she just walk around. You, <laughs> you. sneaking her, yeah. smacking bitches. Like, yeah. she was like, legacy is the you. She, she do her like little jump dance. too. Like, yeah, I saw her in one fight, man. She her jumped. shit come with a little dance. She mm -hmm. do her little dance, and the next thing, you know, she taking <laughs> off socking bitches. You feel me? Like, yeah. oh God. Who else got a signature move? Who else? Bree, she the little Mac Mac. Mm -hmm. Little Mac Mac Mac. That's the little Mac yeah. Mac. Who else got signature moves? I can't think of nobody else who got a signature move. What about the guys on Playboy's view? Playboy's. Isaiah got the Mac Mac mm -hmm. too. He does it. He, he's, I love his run-ups too. He got, the, he, got the, he got the run up Mac Mac. Yeah, Mac -Mac. it just looks good on camera. Like his run-ups, I'm like, man. <laughs> yeah, and then um, who else? Who else got a signature move? Who else? Y'all help me. Who else got a signature move? Well, y'all know my signature move. It's the Liddy Lock. You feel me? And I added a new signature move to it. Y'all gonna see it on Greek Life. <laughs> I'm excited for that. I got a new signature move. I'm I got that. some new shit. Who else? <clears throat> Who else? You know what? I'm gonna figure out everybody's signature moves. You feel me? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna figure out every city. Does ET have moves. one? Uh, I love ET, by the way. I don't guys. know. Do you? Do ET. she? Do you think she got one? It's probably just yeah, like Isaiah. She's always. But what, 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 that's not a move. That's just true. a square up. <laughs> true. Very true. Like you got, you got to study him. Like so, I'm gonna figure out. You gotta be me? unique with that kind of stuff. Like yours is a headlock, so it's like it's you know it's like. It's a lady lock. Yeah, the lady lock. Yeah, everybody got different signature moves. You got to really study them and see because everybody do some of the same mm. stuff. But anyways, back to my train of thought. I'm going to figure it out, y'all. And when I figure it out, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to probably, like, make a TikTok or something. I don't know. But y'all going to see everybody's signature moves. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> Real shit, because I feel like every it's a game. It's a big-ass game. I feel like it's a big-ass game. Um, yeah, it's a big-ass game. It definitely is not as you just really viral. think about it. No, not go viral. Like people just do the same shit and it be funny. <laughs> and it be funny. It do. <laughs> Let me see. No, I just have. Let me see with these comments. Monty a little Mac truck too. Yeah, Monty got the little Mac Max too. She did her e. thing at got the boxing the face match. Shots. When she see you back up, and she gonna try. Yeah. Okay. They do. So. 
Now, the boxing matches, let me get into that real quick. I ain't even want to talk about it, y'all, because <laughs> it's some shit that went down at that boxing match that I was surprised about. Um, first and foremost, I felt bad for Shaba because I was on Greek life. So to see her in that ring and how it went, that shit was crazy. Because it's not even like she got her leg back. Like, you know? Yeah. That shit was crazy. She was hitting that girl all upside her head. Like, you feel me? Like, it was it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, Monty and Raj, they were scrapping, you know, they were scrapping. Raj did good for it to be her first time in the ring, mm -hmm. you know. She did good for it to be her first time in the ring, and I love the fact that they still got good sportsmanship. Like, they don't, you know, you don't see no beef from them. They some real bitches. I love that. Um, who else fought? Shaba and Ivory. Um, Ivory, um, no, Shaba and Ivory, Duke and Mac. Queen D and, who did Queen D fight? Queen D for Hood Baby. Hood Baby, that's right. But Duke and Mac, Mac my brother. I love Mac. I love Mac. I love Mac. But, <clears throat> I was mad as too. fuck, like, I was mad as fuck. I ain't like that shit. I wasn't feeling that, like, not at all. I wasn't feeling that. I wanted to jump through the TV, I felt so bad. And Duke was my on my team. Oh, um, Duke, was, Duke was on my team on Greek life. Like, I was mad that they was even beefing, keep it real. But, yeah, that was a whole lot. 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 I couldn't believe what I was seeing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. I couldn't believe it. That shit not funny. <laughs> that shit not funny at all. Watch when you get hit with a mat truck. You ain't do it. Don't be laughing. My time will probably come, you know? Don't be laughing. I'm talking about Mac. He be watching this. Don't be laughing. Oh, man. No, I love Mac. <laughs> Please, me and Mac are. Mac, yeah. don't be yeah. laughing. So. But, um. <laughs> and then Queen D and Hood Baby. That was, they went round for round. You feel me? Like, that was, a, you know, it was a cool fight. It was a cool fight, but Queen D been doing her shit. Queen yeah. D a heavy hitter now. Her and her Thames. Yeah, she a heavy hitter now. Yeah. She official. Queen D is official. She's official heavy hitter. And that's that. All shade. Mac had me on the floor laughing. He said, how you gonna be Ivory and you can't beat Rasputia Wig? No, for real, for real. <laughs> oh yeah, Cuzzo and Wes. <laughs> I Cuzzo got her ass beat, I heard. Yeah, I I, that's one of the fights that I didn't see. I didn't see Cuzzo's. I didn't see that. That was the one that I was missing. But I heard that Wes won, but I didn't watch that fight. I got to go back and watch that. I watched every <clears> fight but that one. And then I think Gucci and Don, Don were supposed to fight, but they ended up... They fought outside, <laughs> and outside I don't understand. Bit. I thought they didn't even have no real beef. So them even fighting, like, in the street, it was like it had to be an ego thing, like my dick is bigger than yours type shit. It's like a deep because thing. I didn't understand why they even fought in the street, like. It's like a masculinity thing, you know? It's like. Like why are y'all fighting? Y'all didn't yeah. get paid for that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. You gotta pay me. <laughs> Nowadays, you gotta pay me, okay? <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand that. I really didn't. Like I didn't get it. But hey, I don't be getting half the shit that be going <laughs> on. You know, I just be here so I don't get fined. And again, if you see anybody reporting the show, Greek Life, you feel me? Let me know because I'm definitely going to let the people know that they owe $3 million because <laughs> I want to see if they really going to get fined $3 million. I want to see what that look like. You know? <laughs> no shade. Like, I want to see what that look like. Because $3 million, like, what the fuck you going to do? You got to do shows and your firstborn got to do shows too. Because... We're not even getting paid that much. So, <clears throat> yeah, let me know so I can have a tea. And that concludes the Liddy Show. Y'all have a blessed night. Oh, wait. Did you conclude it already? 
Before I conclude the Liddy Show, before I conclude the Liddy Show, shout out to Connie Price. You feel me? She got me this, and it came with like some um, ashtrays and all type. Of, you don't got they got ashes on it. Like it came with ashtrays, like a container to um, hold my weed in. I love that. I thank you for that. And also, I know y'all see my titty been slipping out, <laughs> but this outfit is cute. Shout out to Swag Boutique, you feel me? The Boots outfit. Shout out to them. If y'all want to get y'all some Swag Boutique, go ahead and use my promo code. It's Big Liddy, okay? Big Liddy, B-I-G-L-I-D-D-Y. And go ahead and get you, I believe it's 10 or 15% off. So go ahead and get that, all right? And the nails, I will be showing you on TikTok. Shout out to Press by Tate. She got me some nails with my, my face on them. Like, you know, like I'm about to order some more. Wait, your face is on them? I didn't yeah. see that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And it say Big Lady, like, girl, I'm okay. gonna need some more of these. Like, they fit good. Like, yeah. Thank you. So, again, y'all, y'all have a blessed night. And now that concludes the Liddy Show. Good night.